Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler and this is Old Trafford. The city of Manchester, we've got Manchester City against Manchester United, but the whole area is infected with football enthusiasm. And now Manchester City can take on Manchester United really head to head. Yeah, can't they just? The noisy neighbours are here to stay, I think, and uh, this one should be close. Manchester United, they're looking for another victory today to add on to their recent away win against Hull City. Yeah, cracking performance, and 1-3-1, one, one, but probably won't have it all their own way here. I think they'll get a draw. Well, you want width and you want quality in the width, and probably they've got that with this new acquisition. I think so, and uh, the one player that would be pleased to see him arrive is the centre-forward, because I think he can expect better service now from a lad that does swing in good crosses, there's been a lot of talk in the past years about Ilkay Gundogan moving on, but he's finally moved on now, and here he is, we're going to see his debut here. Yeah, interesting to see how he does, Martin. A lot of clubs were very keen, but uh, he chose here, so keep an eye on him today. Two changes for Manchester United today. David De Gea starts in goal. Eric Bailly plays with Americ Laporte as the centre-backs. Kaká comes in for Marouane Fellaini, who's injured in attack. Zlatan Ibrahimovic starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Several changes for Manchester City. Joe Hart starts in goal. 
Vincent Company starts alongside Nicolas Otamendi at the back. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Fernando in central midfield. Sergio Aguero is the sole striker. But for a long period, this was a place where Manchester United seemed to be totally unbeatable. But then they've had one or two changes of management, of course, which is always likely to happen when Alec Ferguson retired after so many years. And some of the visitors and the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Kevin De Bruyne. Silva. Gundogan. Gone out over the touchline. That'll be a throw to the opposition. Kaká. He's got his shot off now. What a fine save. They're marking as tightly as they can. This corner could be a problem. They've got to defend it well. is in and that's going to be a goal kick deal has been done by Chelsea and the new signing is ready to go yeah well they've had to put the money in the pockets uh, about 50 million quid which um, I don't think that's an outrageous figure for somebody of his quality Rojo. He thought he might have connected a bit better than that. It's a simple save in the end from the long shot. Put them in front. Goalkeeper hangs on. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Well, they're real rivals these days. The two sides of Manchester, red and blue. City have joined the party, haven't they, in recent years in terms of competing for trophies. Competing on a much more level playing field with United these days. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Rojo. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Defended to it first. And it will go into the middle now. Italian! That goal here. And it puts them into the lead. The goal then for Manchester United. Well, he's got a track record of that. On his left side, he's so dangerous. But well, do you know what? I thought he was going to head that ball, but he's adjusted his body, and what a finish. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Gundogan. Nicholas Otamendi. Aurier. It's a tough ask for the visiting team today because the home side have won their last three matches. Well, and they're full of confidence and with the home crowd behind them, I think it'll be tough for the visitors. That's a great interception. Tackle goes in. And it's Ibrahimovic. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Here's Company. Vincent Company. Now that 
to throw. Here's Andreas Pereira. Tight to the touchline and another throw. Kevin De Bruyne. Back to Hart. Manchester City are the side trailing here despite having more possession. Look at those stats. Yeah, it's quite incredible, really. They've dominated possession and dominated the match, but it doesn't show for anything. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Now the shot! And that will be a corner for United. Disappointment. It's gone out for a throw on the other side of the field. And Clichy. Good to add. Well, that's half time at 1 0. So, Alan, what about the first 45 minutes he's played on his debut today? Well, his team are winning, but let's face it, he hasn't helped much. He's been pretty poor, and you would expect him to get a lot better. 